Ladies and gentlemen, the talk is about the extraordinary way controversial approaches to the conservation of the critically threatened northern bald ibis. It's about this species with its naked face, the long bill, and this feather boa, endangered, listed as endangered, and in to Europe since 2001. A conservation project is ongoing, aiming to establish a migratory population in the frame of the European Life Project. The population is developing and we will reach a population size of about 200 individuals in the wild end of 2021. The major method is the so-called human red migration. We collect chicks from zoo breeding colonies. They are hand raised and trained to follow microlite planes. And with help of these planes, we can lead the birds from the breeding sites down to the wintering site in southern Tuscany. It's a journey of about 1,000 kilometers. And since 2011, an increasing number of birds migrate on its own uh, in autumn down to the wintering site and in spring back to their breeding sites where they breed successfully since 2012. In 2021, we had 36 fledged jewelers. Meanwhile, free population, uh, free colonies are established uh, and connected by two migration corridors with the common wintering site. In 2022, a second life project starts, led by Sue Vienna, which aims to establish four further colonies. The historic range of the species was more or less circum Mediterranean, where the European populations disappeared already in the Middle Age, while the other populations vanished in the last century, except of one colony on the Moroccan coast, which is sedentary. Do reintroduction projects are ongoing both in Europe, it's the Walter team project, which I talked about, and Projecto Eremit in southern Spain, where a sedentary colony is established. In 2015, Aeva published an international single species action plan for the species. It stated that the goal of the action plan is to restore the northern bald ibis. And the purpose is to increase the population size and breeding range. It's also stated that the species currently occurs in eight countries within the AVA agreement area. These are referred to as principal rain states with the major responsibility for its implementation. All of these range, principal rain states are located outside Europe and in fact, at the time of publication of the action plan only in Morocco, wild bald ibis is occurred. Six years after publication, fairly none of the goals defined for these principal range states have been reached, except of continuation of successful management in Morocco. On the other hand side, the European projects are running successfully, as indicated by published demographic data. For example, survival of adults in the European Waldaptin population is 78% compared to an estimate of 77 for the Moroccan wild population. Cumulative survival to sexual maturity, 33% compared to 14% survival from hatching to fledging, 83% compared to 47, and probably most important, fledging spaness, the mean of 2.15 compared to 1.23 in Morocco. Nevertheless, the European projects are largely ignored by AEVA. Instead, Conservationists suggest, for example, that targeted lobbying and gentle pressure from international nature conservation organizations in the Middle East or reallocation of funds from the European projects to Morocco. In our view, both are rather 
theoretical and polemical approaches. Instead, incorporation of the European projects in the overall action planning is well-founded and significant for the successful protection of the species. That's what we aim for. However, probably the most consequential shortcoming of the current action plan is a complete ignorance of climate change. Even so, all eight principal rain states are known to be particularly exposed to climate change effects. And indeed, we know from our European population that bald ibises are already affected by climate change effects. Thanks for your attention, and please don't hesitate to contact me at info at